Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, I got a cold saw. Wow, I guess I'm human. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I want to speak to you about something important. The guys that are getting older, okay? I'm about to show you a clip of Peter Artia speaking with Huberman about what is the hallmark of aging for muscles. Now, I have been preaching on my channel constantly, constantly that your fast twitch fibers are the most important part of your muscles. In other words, once you lose those, it's over. Your speed, you, once you lose the speed, that's why when you age, you slow down because you lose the type two fast twitch fibers. This is why, take a look at this video. This is why I do jumps, okay? Also, take a look at when I throw punches. Speed, okay? That helps me keep the fast twitch fibers. Look at this other video here where I'm jumping on the bench back and forth. These, I'm training my fast twitch fibers because these are the hallmark, is the hallmark of aging for muscle tissue. Okay, you have type one and type two fibers, muscle fibers. The first ones to go, the slow twitch, you could, you could keep to your 100 years old. The first ones to go are the fast type two, fast twitch muscle fibers. That starts in your late 20s, early 30s, believe it or not. Once you lose them, my friend, the aging process has taken over your body, okay? Me, I have been training my fast switch fibers all my life, all my life. I'm, a, I'm still slower, much slower than when I was when I was younger, but I'm still fast for my age, okay? Like I said, please take a look at this clip on Peter Tia listen to it carefully okay he explains why this is so important to train your fast twitch fibers i wish you all the best take a look at the clip you're really going to enjoy it because this guy breaks it down perfect better than i would have said it but like i said he says he wishes that he could jump at 60 years old do a 24 inch uh, uh, vertical I'm that age and I do it with no problem. Vertical jump, I also box jump, almost four feet. I'm not bragging, I'm just letting you know my muscles are in my prime. And I don't take TRT or none of that other stuff. All natural, use your brain. Have a great day, watch the clip, you're gonna love it. See you in my next video. What is the hallmark of aging on the muscle? It is atrophy of the type two muscle fiber. Mm -hmm. That's the hallmark. Fast twitch. Fast twitch muscle fiber. So if you want to understand what looks different in 50 year old Peter versus 18 year old Peter, it's not my type one fibers. It's my type two fibers. It's my fast twitch fibers. It's my explosive fibers. I mean, when I was 18 years old, I could vertical jump over 30 inches. Today, I'm lucky if I can vertical jump 24 inches. And, you know, and when I'm 60, Boy, it's like my goal is to be able to vertical jump 60, uh, 20 inches when I'm 60, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I've seen some videos of some 80-year-old uh, sprinters that are pretty impressive and certainly 80-year-old gymnasts yeah. that are impressive. I've not seen very many videos of 80-year-olds um, dunking basketballs, for instance. Yeah. It's, who are not, more, <laughs> oh, who are not uh, taller than six feet, <laughs> right, five right. inches. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, so, so when we lose... You know, our so so again, if you just think about size, strength, speed, we lose speed first. We lose speed, then strength, and the last thing you lose is size. So again, size is agnostic to fiber, right? You could, you could have big type one fibers and still have lots of size. They're not going to be that strong, and they're certainly not going to be fast. So what I, I mean, like we could go through, we could spend hours on this particular topic, but I think the most important thing that people need to understand is you cannot age well if you are not doing the type of training that is there to strengthen and delay or minimize the hypertrophy of your type two fibers. So everything matters, right? You have to be doing your zone two, you have to be doing, you know, all of these other things, but some component of your training needs to be stressing the type two fibers. You have to be doing strength training that taxes those fibers. You have to be doing reactivity training. You have to be doing explosive training.